Hey guys, it's Alex from the Fabled Academy. Today we are talking about how much money you should have invested in trading cards. And I want to tell you a story at first because I actually yeah, spent a lot of money on trading cards in my entire life and especially in my late teenage and in my adult years that I had so far in my life. And I'm very interested in hearing your opinion and your experience on that in the comments down below. So if you want to contribute to yeah, the conversation, make sure to leave a comment. But now let's start by um, yeah, telling this story. Because actually there was a time in my life where I had yeah, uh, invested all of my money. Let's say, let's say we make a circle and so this this were my investments or the money not even my only my investments but but the money that i had or that i thought i had and 98 percent of my money was in trading cards and there was a little bit like you see here <laughs> in the circle left that I didn't have on trading cards, but yeah, that was how my world was looking like. And um, I was actually assuming that this is pretty normal. I had a few friends actually who told me this is pretty crazy, but um, I had a lot of yeah people around me too that were also in this position for the more or the less. And I lived like this for a long time and now actually I made a change and I'm going towards a more <laughs> diverse yeah, relationship with money. Let's say it like that. Because actually now when I'm looking at this at the moment, actually I managed to shift and do it a little bit like this. So I still have a lot of money in cards, but I make sure to constantly make this part bigger. And this part is for me, my savings at the moment. So this here is savings but also i have a little bit of an etf of course the whole amount of money that i have also changed but let me tell you at first that um yeah now it's a little bit different let me write that down at first so i'm very curious how you are doing this and if you're having trouble with this, because I actually ran a lot of times into trouble with this, now I actually have less trouble with this. And I want to make this part even smaller. And let me tell you at first that how I got from here to here was actually by reducing that amount of the cake that was the chunk of trading cards so I actually sold a lot of my stuff I sold a lot of cards and that was also due to me having not only my investments or the money that I had available but also because there was a pie down here and that was my debt so I also had debt yeah so I need to get rid of my debt. And I did that by selling, not only by selling cards, but also by selling cards. And because I wanted to get rid of the debt and also because I wanted to shrink yeah, this part of whatever you want to call this, the cake, the portfolio, the investments, my savings, whatever, um, to yeah not being that reliant on the trading cards because what happened often in this situation is that if i needed money 
I actually needed to sell cards. And I was in a, in a cycle of buying cards and selling cards. Yeah, so it always got like this when I was in that situation here. Yeah. This this looked like this. And it was pretty difficult sometimes because not only did I uh, not want to sell some cards, but um, also because it wasn't always that easy. Let's be honest, like <laughs> sometimes you just need money right away. And um, if you have nothing saved up and just rather think that trading cards are, yeah, the money that you have. That can be very difficult. Also, when you have debt, like don't get me wrong, I have a job where I get paid every month. But uh, basically, every month that I got, I also made a video already on that um, on the channel. I will make more videos on these topics on the future. So if you want to see those, check out the channel and also subscribe to the Fable Academy. Um, so from month to month, also money came in, and then it was gone already. So because I wanted to buy cards and do stuff with cards and travel and stuff like that for cards and I even did something very very bad if this is the zero point money gets in and I yeah basically spend it and then also I'm not sure how you guys call it in English but in Germany that's the dispo right so I'm going into Dispo even on my bank account while having debt and having nearly all of my money saved. Let's really take this with a critical point here. This saved up, saved up my money in trading cards. And I really wanted to get out of this. And I'm curious, guys, if any of you are in a cycle like this, in a situation like this and also tell me in the comments why you think this is good or why you are doing it because I had my reasons to do it maybe I do a video on that in the future but um, definitely this was very very unhealthy so definitely even yeah I would mark this in red here because honestly guys while I was having that the trading cards weren't really yeah saved this was one really, really saved money, right? Because my net worth, yeah, when looking at my net worth, I had, I had my cards, but I also had debt. And let's, I'm, I just making some numbers here up, right? So I think from my head, yeah, let's say those, those were the values that I had in my trading cards. And then I had debt and then I also had this dispo which I was using every month and then even there was a credit card that I also used on a regular basis. So this was such an unhealthy relationship and such a bad situation to be to be in so what I did was yeah like I said I sold cards but I also took money from yeah the work that I did that I do every month and made sure that I just erase all of this shit down here yeah I paid off the credit card I paid out the I paid out the dispo and I paid out the debt and then basically for sure yeah this up here also is lower now yeah i'm i'm just making numbers up here yeah that's not really exactly 100% sure numbers here but just to give you an outlook yeah of how something like this can look and now i also even like i said trading cards are still a big portion of my cake but I'm starting to get more and more green here and also I would really say that I don't really need to to sell any of my cards at the moment because I save 
I even have something that is called a sinking fund, guys. That is something very interesting. And I, as I've gotten to know that, like my eyes were glowing. I was like, this is a thing. Yeah, maybe we do a future video on this, sinking funds for TCG collectors. Um, so I basically take care of all of my needs and I want to even yeah, extend this further. Not really by selling any more of my trading cards. Maybe I, yeah, maybe to fasten the process of shortening the gap between these two. But I really want to get in a situation. So I make a third circle where I'm not really at yet. Yeah, where something maybe like this is happening. Something like this. Yeah. Something like this, guys. Wouldn't that be amazing? Wouldn't that be amazing? Maybe this part will be even lower. Yeah. Smaller, not lower. <laughs> um, so this is still, yeah, a way to go for me. But I think this is the right way to go, actually. And I think from my experiences that I have now while living with this, I feel much better. And I also have much less of a headache. I also think that I'm much more safer prepared for the future. Um, I, make, I will make a lot of more videos of what I thought in these situations here and how I handled life and what I thought about it and why I did certain things and how I gotten over it and slowly gotten out of it because this is not this was not like a process of one year this was a process over many years and I did many mistakes and let me tell you something when you are in this cycle and if you are trying to get out of it or you are trying to do something better yeah, you can do it. It can happen and you can do it. And if you're not believing in yourself, I'm believing in you. Yeah, I needed to believe in me too. And so I think you can start to believe in yourself too if you don't believe in yourself. If you believe in yourself, that's great. Then you're, then you're good. But definitely, yeah, let us talk about this. I think this needs to be talking openly about. I think not that many people are talking about this and are just showing like the glowing nice world of the trading cards where you're just oh yeah you buy this box and that box goes up in the future and you have those shiny cards and you have so much fun with them because oh yeah you remember your childhood right when looking at those charizards and those blue eyes white dragons or those dual lands for you magic guys but i think there are many people out there yeah who have a healthy relationship with money and with trading cards too. And I'm not sure if those videos like this help you, but definitely let me know in the comments if these kind of things help you. And I have to say here, I not only sold cards, yeah, I changed my mindset of how, yeah, financially speaking, I also educated myself financially, yeah? Like I said, sinking funds and all those fancy things. I also then changed for, of course, I changed how I spent. I changed how I spent and I'm still changing things up. I'm still experiencing. And so I'm really glad and I'm really proud that I managed to get from this to this. And so I just want to show you this and tell you that it's possible. Yeah, you can do this. You can do this. I'm happy if you don't need to do this though. <laughs> and if you're still on, that's nice too. But it is so important guys. Yeah, I'm 31 years old. And I'm glad I got around this now and that I don't spend another 10 years losing myself in this kind of crazy realm here and thinking that, I don't know, this Pokemon booster box is the savings for my kids and shit like that. And that I know now that I can have my fun time well, with this black part of my pie 
which I'm showing you guys regularly here on this channel every day at the moment, actually having so much fun with it. But um, definitely want to get here and experience what it's like with this. And actually, I let me tell you something. Yeah. Here, sometimes I thought about I can't get everything that I want. But now I see the more I get into this, the more I can just live the life that I want. Not only with trading cards, but just in general. Going on vacation, being prepared when my camera breaks. Actually, just, you know what? My, my backpack that I use every day, it's a Peak Design backpack that I had for years and years. And that's a really expensive bag and it broke. And I need to, re um, I can't repair it anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the crazy part about it. But I need to buy a new one now. And in this situation here, <sighs> I would gotten a headache right away and was like, oh no, now I need to sell some cards. You know what? What I did now, I just bought a new one from my savings. And you know what? The crazy thing is, even my monitor, my monitor that I use to edit and work it doesn't really function anymore since a few days. And that monitor is super expensive. It's like a thousand euros. And I had it for eight years now. So it did well for me, did a good job, but now I need to replace it. You know what? I can just do it with the money I have. It's no problem for me. I don't have a headache about it. I just am prepared for it. And I know even what kind of expenses are are coming in the future, at least some of them I know about, and I prepare for them with my sinking funds and with my savings. And also something, guys, yeah, Notgroschen, emergency fund. Sorry, guys, I'm mixing up German here with uh, English. This is so important. Yeah. Let me know if you want to know more about this, how I do it now. I'm not a financial expert or a financial advisor, but I think just by showing how I do it, Maybe you can think about something that you do twice and maybe you can even teach me something. Yeah, maybe you can show me even something. But let me tell you, since I started doing these kind of videos, I got a lot of messages by people that those kind of videos are just what they need or what they thought that <laughs> doesn't really exist out there. Let me tell you, there are also other people like me talking about this that are much more experienced like me, not maybe not in the TCG world, but you can learn stuff like this. It's just educating, guys, educating, not running in this bad cycle here. Yeah, don't just remember this is like shit down here. You can get in a lot of trouble with this. And I don't want to be a card seller. I don't want to do this. I just want to have it as my hobby and have fun with it and get to know new people and travel the world a little bit for tournaments. But I don't want to have shit like this, this here that we erased. I was so proud of it that managed to erase this. Oh, guys, I think I think this is enough for now. This is enough for now. But definitely, if this helped you, leave a like on the video and also. If you want to support the channel a little bit, I just activated the yeah YouTube membership thingy. And also I started a Patreon. So if any one of you is interested in supporting the Fabled Academy, check those ones out. Yeah, links in the, in the description. And I hope you're doing good. I hope you are having a nice day now. And that we see each other in the next video, guys.